When you begin a new job, there are all of these things that go through your mind. You're thinking about, you know, how can I succeed in this new role? Did I really make the right decision? Who are these people? Like, what is their opinion of me? Will I be liked? Will I be welcomed? All kinds of questions as you're preparing to show up on that first day. Many people think about beginnings as the first day on the job. I actually think beginnings are the first contact with the organization. Well, actually, it started with the very first phone conversation. It just felt really welcoming. It, it didn't feel intimidating. He wanted to understand me in a more holistic way than I think I've ever experienced in a job interview before. <laughs> For me, it's a dialogue. And so the person who is looking at Hope Lab is also evaluating us and interviewing us just as much as we are evaluating and interviewing them. When I came here to Hope Lab for my interview day, I interacted with so many different people. There was an opportunity for almost everyone I would have direct contact with to, to have a conversation with me, to ask me questions, to get to know me. I felt like this was such a different approach, a much more human, compassionate approach that I could say nothing else but yes to the job offer uh, and was really excited to get started. I recall having a, a job once where when I showed up, I had no computer, I had no telephone, and um, that might have been fine, except that it actually took more than two weeks to actually get a computer and a telephone. And um, there were a variety of reasons and rationales for that, but ultimately it made it feel like I wasn't welcome. Well, beginnings are, are quite interesting because what we do as humans is we actually give very disproportionate weight to what happens to us initially in relationship and engagement. So if you pay a lot of attention to those early days of engagement, you actually get enormous leverage, enormous mileage out of the way people end up feeling about themselves and about the environment that they're working in as a result of the attention or lack of attention that, that you might give in those early days. We order flowers for their desk. So when they walk into their cubicle, it's not just a clean, clear, you know, here's your pen, pencil, not get to work kind of thing. No, we don't do that. And that special gesture makes you feel joy. You know, you, who, who doesn't, I have to say it again, who doesn't like getting flowers? It's so wonderful. It innately, you know, makes you smile. We schedule their orientation very gently. So the first day is mostly just filling forms, getting to know people, going to lunch. We really um, have them connect with other employees. All first days are overwhelming, but being able to look at my orientation schedule made it less overwhelming. And also seeing that included in that schedule were dedicated times where I could go out to lunch with folks and, and really get to know them, have a conversation, or go out and grab a cup of coffee or tea. That just makes your life so much easier. That makes you feel so much more comfortable and at home so much more quickly. When someone joins a new organization, they're joining a community. The greater connections you can make with people in the community, the greater resource you are. So during orientation, it's really important to us to make sure that new people meet as many people as possible, and not just in a, in a surface level way, but really have some genuine and meaningful connections with people. So I'm really, really excited to be here today. Thank you for all of you already said hello and welcome me. I've had a chance to... So when you first join Hope Lab, you, you don't know that in the first staff meeting that you will be asked to go up in front of this staff and complete what has now become a kind of ritual. Place myself. We pose a few questions to them that are both professional but also personal. Say, what is my background? Why am I happy to be coming here? What's something that you do as a hobby? You know, what's a favorite book or artist or movie that you've seen recently? One of the great takeaways from this book is that it's less about what the answers are specifically than the uh, the really unique energy 
that each person brings into the room and what you learn about their personality in the process. And then the final question is, you know, since you're new, what can we all do at Hope Lab to support you being successful in your new role? I had been in other organizations where you really are relying solely on yourself. But the outpouring of support from team members coming up to me saying, hey, we're going to have lunch this week. I'd love to know more about you and also let me know how I can help you. After Katie started, there was a dedicated lunchtime to get to know Katie and get to make Katie feel welcome here. I had only been working here for a few months, but I took to it really naturally. I felt qualified to be an ambassador for this place, that I had been so completely integrated into the culture, into the community, into the people who work here. I just didn't feel new anymore. If you were coming into a company, how would you like to be welcomed? Would you want to just be directed to your desk and sit there and, you know, not really have much to do until your manager comes? Or do you want more of a welcome and embrace? It does take work. It takes a lot of thoughtfulness and anticipation. So while it's difficult work on the one hand, it's critical to the overall success. A new person's energy is infectious. It's actually really fun to orient someone new and to welcome them. And so, yeah, we've done a lot of welcomings and orientations over my 10 and a half years at Hope Lab. And I have to say that every one is actually quite energizing. Did I really make the right decision? Where do I fit in? Who are these people? What is their opinion of me? Do I really belong here? Would I be as valued as every other team member? Will I be liked? Will I be welcomed?